Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at something a little different for Heroclix. We're going to do sort of a primer, so if you haven't read War of the Realms or you're not sure what it is, what to expect, we're going to look at the story, it, not in heavy detail, because if you want to read it, read it, but just sort of a recap to refresh people that have read it, or maybe if you have no interest in reading it, just to tell you what it's about, and to take a look at some of the characters we can expect. Now, obviously, this is going to go out on the day of, or the day before, the unboxing by Scott Porter over on WizKids YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out. We will be able to see who from this list we actually get as he is going to be on unboxing. I think it's going to be two a day for the week, as they've done recently. So yeah, let's make our predictions in time, just before we actually see any of it. Uh, we're going to go through the story first, so I'm going to do a quick recap, and then I'm going to take a look at my predictions for characters for the set. As always with these videos, make sure you drop your predictions in the comments below, but let's get into this one. So the story started with Odin being visited by some Dark Elf assassins. They mention Malkith has been working on a Dark Bifrost or a Black Bifrost, and now he's able to teleport around the Ten Realms. Now at this point, Asgard is destroyed, the, the Rainbow Bridge is shattered. Last thing that happened there was Mangog tore the place apart. Jane Foster eventually stopped him, but... That's sort of a different story leading into this one. We then jump to Earth and Thor is tricked by Melkith and taken to Jotunheim where he's trapped fighting hordes of frost giants for a good portion of this story, honestly. It's not long before Melkith and his horde are on Earth and they have to escape. Doctor Strange expends a ton of power to get everyone away and safe, but it does mean they've lost the battle, they're sort of retreating. And we do see a few heroes die in this one. I know at points the Black Knight is on the ground. I can't remember if they actually finish him off. I'm not sure it says in the main comic line. We see Captain Britain down. We see a few other characters. Sorry, no, no, no. Not Captain Britain. Uh, Union Jack. Very different characters. We do actually see Jane Foster join the fray again, but obviously she's been through quite a lot since then. So in retreat, the main characters are asked to take a task force to find Thor. It's the only way they're going to win, as usual, looking for the big guy. So it's a team of Captain America, Iron Fist, uh, Luke Cage, and Spider-Man that head to Jotunheim. And then Frigga and another group of Blade, Ghost Rider, and She-Hulk. They basically disguise themselves as the elves and infiltrate them. Their task is to go to the Black Bifrost Bridge and destroy it. Now, they do eventually find Thor. He is missing an arm at this point, and he seems quite mad. Frigga does eventually grab the sword of the Dark Bifrost and turns into something, and eventually they are attacked by Malkith himself. While all this is going on, Earth's being attacked. We see a ton of different heroes. We see Deadpool. We see Venom, which he probably shouldn't have turned up because it does end up Malkith taking Venom as a slave. And in what, at one point, he does actually take on the symbiote himself. Obviously, now Thor has returned. We do get a version of him with a... I think it's the destroyer arm to replace the one he lost on Jotunheim. So I think that could be quite a cool figure, but we will get into those shortly. Because obviously, Thor turns up and saves the day, basically. Like I said, I'm not going to give it all away. Go read the comic if you want to read it. But let's take a look at previews of characters I think we should probably get. Early in the story, we meet Thori, which is Thor's dog, which I definitely think we're going to get a version of. It's a fun character. It's a different character I don't think we've had before, so it would be very nice to have. That's my first prediction. I think we're going to get commons and uncommons of stuff like Blade, Captain America, She-Hulk, Ghost Rider, all these characters we see in and out of scenes. We don't get a ton of Loki in this story, but I do think we might get a version of him as he sacrifices himself. Maybe with the cool sword that he was holding. I do think we're going to get a few versions of his brother. So I do think we will get Loki in some capacity. But Thor, there's a part where he's wielding two hammers. There's a part where he's got no arm. There's a part where he's got a destroyer arm. There's the part at the end where he's King Thor. There's just so much that you could make. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw four different Thors in this. Maybe even more as there is scenes with multiple different Thors. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw 10 different Thors in this set, which if they're different, if they're unique, they're variants, it could be interesting. I don't think that's a bad thing. Obviously, we'll get Wolverine and Punisher. I'm trying to think of other characters. Captain Marvel is quite prevalent in this one. Venom. I don't know if we'll get Venom as a character and then as like a Melkith's pet or something. 
and maybe a couple of versions of him as well the main version and then the symbiote one obviously he's a main character in this so i think we'll get a few of him so on earth magic is basically stopped or weakened and that's by a team of witches he has which we might get to see they don't really do much i th- i mean they stop the magic but i think they're taken out immediately by like jane foster and blade i think it is but it would be cool to see them they're very unique looking characters we've got a horde of valkyries so i would love to get maybe some generics of those brunhilda we've got quite a few we uh, the warriors three are in there so it'd be cool to get them again. It's been a while since we've had those. And there are some big scenes with them. I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah, read the comic. It's definitely worth reading beforehand. I would love to get these variants of the Captain America team that heads into Jotunheim. Obviously wearing the winter clothes, using weapons they wouldn't normally use. That Luke Cage looks really cool. Spider-Man looks good. I think I would be shocked if we didn't get these because these are quite standout characters. They're front cover characters. It's a different version of a character we've got a million times. So it makes it slightly more interesting. I'd love to see a Doctor Strange as well. He does have his hound. Um, I can't remember his name. It's something strange. But I would love to see that as well. There's a lot of unique characters in this that you don't really see that often. Obviously, we've got to have Daredevil, the god without fear, as he takes on Heimdall's sword in this one. So this could be really interesting. I think that would look... Just looking at that picture, all the different colors on the dial, translucent look, that could be really nice. Then we've got unique stuff like Odin, the Iron Allfather, which looks incredible. I don't think we've had it before, so that would be really cool to have. Again, Frigga with the Black Bifrost weapon, that could be good. There's a few different variations of characters that we only see in this, so it'd be really nice to get. I'd love to get some more Frost Giants, some Dark Elves. There's just a ton of stuff in this that I think the variants of them would be really cool to have. And I do think that's the route they're going to go because this is a very unique set in. We see versions of characters only in this story, so I'd be shocked if we didn't get them. So as well as the Dark Elves, we get Ulix, so some trolls would be cool. We did get that in the Hammer of Thor set last, so that's quite a while ago. I think that's when I started the game originally, so it'd be cool to get another one of him. And again, a ton more generics. We got Curse, we got Laufey. There's just a ton of leaders and their minions, which would be really cool in this set, which again, we haven't got for a very long time. Dario Ago made a small appearance, although we did get him a little while ago. Enchantress, I would love to see again. We got the Queen of Heaven, even. I'm not sure how it's... I'm, I'm, I assume it's Heaven. Uh, yeah, we could get her. We could get Syndra. There's a ton of stuff on Malkith's side, which are just really interesting characters, and I think will fill up some of the super rare slots as I think it's going to be heavily themed around him, as it should be. Let me know in the comments if you think I've missed any characters, or just let me know what you're excited for for this set, what you like from the comic itself. That's all I've got for this episode. Hopefully this is a video you like. If you want to see it for other Heroclix sets, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, a comment. Just want to take a second at the end of this video to thank my Patreon, Dan Miles, for his support. And I will catch you in the next one.